Hi and welcome to the video training of abstract factory pattern. Abstract factory patterns work around a super factory which creates other factories. This factory is also called as factory of factories. This type of design pattern comes under creational pattern as this pattern provides one of the best ways to create an object. In abstract factory pattern, an interface is responsible for creating a factory of related objects without explicitly specifying their classes. Each generated factory can give the objects as per the factory pattern. Now let's look at the implementation of abstract factory pattern. We are going to create a shape interface and a concrete class implementing it. We create an abstract factory class abstract factory as next step. Factory class shape factory is defined which extends abstract factory. A factory creator generator class factory producer is created. Abstract factory pattern demo our demo class uses factory producer to get a abstract factory object. It will pass information circle rectangle square for shape to abstract factory to get the type of object it needs. At a higher level we can look at the application architecture. So what we will have is an abstract factory class which is used by the factory produ producer and our abstract factory pattern demo. And our abstract factory class is extended by the shape factory and rounded shape factory which has been extended by the shape interface implemented by the rectangle square rounded rectangle and rounded square classes so let's start by creating our shape.java uh, interface and let's go to the command prompt and create a project folder and i'm going to name it abstract factory okay we set the permissions abstract factory okay now we are going to create shape dot java okay public interface shape and this interface only have one method which is public which is void draw method this interface only have one function that is called white draw so let's move on to next step let's create concrete classes implementing the same interface the class which we are going to create is rounded rectangle class so let's go to command line and say rounded rectangle dot java public class rounded rectangle rounded rectangle implements shape and here we are going to overwrite the function draw that has been defined in the shape interface and here we are going to system dot print line this will print a string on the console inside rounded rectangle draw method save the file and now move on to next one rounded square dot java so we are going to create another class that is called rounded square dot java and here i'm just going to copy the contents from rounded rectangle and i'm going to name the class rounded square and here we can say rounded square save the file and the second one we have is called rectangle simply rectangle so just we're going to create rectangle dot java class and let's copy the contents from here and paste it here and it will be called rectangle dot 
rectangle dot draw key so now we have created three concrete classes one is rounded rectangle the other second one is rounded square and the third one is rectangle dot java class now let's create an abstract class to get factories for normal and rounded shape object this abstract class will be called abstract factory dot java so let's go on to the command line and create abstract factory dot java class and public abstract please note the abstract keyword being used abstract factory the abstract keyword make sure that no instance or object of this class can be initiated and this class have a function called abstract shape get shape and it receives a parameter called shape type so the abstract class abstract factory have an abstract method which returns a shape and have a signature get shape and receives a string of shape type in step 4 we are going to create factory classes extending abstract factory to generate object of concrete class based on given information this class is called shape factory dot java so we are going to create shape factory dot java and in this class we are going to shape factory okay and we have we are going to override extends abstract factory so basically this class shape factory is extending our abstract factory class that we created in the previous step and it will override the abstract function called get shape public string public shape it returns a shape and it receives a string shape type okay and here we can add the conditions so if shape type dot equals ignore case rectangle what we are going to do is we are going to return an object of rectangle class rectangle class okay else if copy this from here and we're going to say square sorry square and this will return an object of a square class okay and that's about it and it will return null if it doesn't found a match of the string being received so let's move on to the second factory which is rounded shape factory dot java it is similar to shape factory dot java but it is for rounded shapes only so it is a different class which handles only rounded shapes in this case we are going to we can copy this implementation of shape factory and we can change the name of the class rounded shape factory and it also extends abstract factory like the shape factory class and it also overrides the shape get shape function and it receives rectangle and square but this time they only return rounded rectangle 
rounded rectangle object of these classes not the simple square ones so rounded square and rounded rectangle I have saved this file and this is called rounded shape factory dot java okay in the step 5 we are going to create a factory generator producer class to get factories by passing an information such as shape this class is called factory producer so let's create this class factory producer dot java public class factory producer and this class will basically have public static abstract factory get factory function boolean rounded and it checks if rounded is passed as true it return new rounded shape factory else it will return simple shape factory instance so basically this class is a producer of different type of factory classes and in the last but not least we are going to create abstract factory pattern demo which will demonstrate the use of abstract factory pattern abstract factory pattern demo dot java public class abstract factory pattern demo and this class will have public static void main method which will receive string arguments as parameters and in this class we are going to uh, execute some of our uh, code so first we are going to get shape factory uh, and this is done by abstract factory factory shape factory equals factory producer not get factory one thing which is noticeable here is that we are calling the get factory method of factory producer class but we haven't created an object of factory producer class so how can we call this function we can call this function because it has been defined as static so static functions exist even if no instance of the class exists so we can use them directly okay uh, now let's get an object of shape rectangle can do this by shape shape one equals shape factory not get shape and will be pass rectangle okay and shape one dot draw method so we have this the second thing we can do is we can do it for the square shape square and here we are going to pass square this will be shape 2 and shape 2 dot draw so what we have done here is we have created a shape factory reference and we got a 
instance of get factory and then we use the shape factory to get an instance of rectangle simple rectangle not the rounded one and similarly we've done it for shape square class as well now we are going to use the rounded uh, rounded uh, <coughs> factory object for this we need to do is get shape I would say get rounded shape factory so here we are going to do is abstract factory shape abstract factory shape factory one equals factory producer dot get factory and this time we are going to pass true because if you visit the factory producer class you can see if the parameter is passed as true it returns rounded shape factory object so we have this rounded shape factory object and we are going to do the same thing we did for square and rectangle but this time these are rounded rounded square and rounded rectangle so we can do as shape 3 and shape 3 shape 3 and sorry this one it will be shape 4 shape 4 and so it will be shape factory 1 and shape factory 1 so this piece of code here is for rounded rectangle and rounded square and this piece of code here is for simple rectangle and simple square and that's about it now it's time to execute our code and see how it execute so well, let's verify the output let's go to the command line and you can see we have like two three four five six seven eight classes so I'm going to compile our abstract factory pattern demo dot Java class and we have some errors here so it says abstract shape cannot find symbol uh, it's an abstract factory class so let's go to abstract factory class public abstract class abstract factory abstract shape get shape okay what we missed here is the shape dot java class we didn't save it so let's save this and now we have the shape dot java class and now we should be able to compile our okay class round square is public should be declared in a file named rounded square dot java public class rounded square implements shape rounded square where is rounded square okay r o u n d e d rounded square dot java limit shape okay it has compiled fine and now we are, can run our abstract factory pattern demo class uh, Exception in okay, I think the problem is we need to have the square brackets here let's save it and let's compile the files again and run it again okay we have finally uh, succeeded in compiling all the classes and here you can see we have class files of all our Java files and now we can simply run java abstract pet factory pattern demo 
So we have the simple rectangle draw method, square draw method, rounded rectangle method and rounded square method. So that's about it. And benefits and usage of abstract factory pattern. Abstract factory pattern isolates the client code from concrete implementation classes. It eases the exchanging of object families. It promotes consistency among objects. Uses of abstract factory pattern. When the system needs to be independent of how its objects are created, composed and represented, when the family of related objects has to be used together, then this constraint needs to be enforced. When you want to provide a library of objects that does not show implementations and only reveals interfaces. When the system needs to be configured with one of a multiple family of objects. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to contact me at youmehmood at gmail.com, visit my LinkedIn profile or my Twitter handle. I'll be more than happy to help you. See you next time with a new topic in factory design, uh, sorry, software design patterns.